Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Uh, forgive the hair, I've been out running errands all day and it has been raining all day long. Let me fix this. Is that better? Yes. Oh, Wellington's getting in his basket. All right, got that haul for you. It's a lot of Christmas, Christmas stuff. I found these little spatula sets. I know they had them out for Thanksgiving, but this is the first one I've seen for Christmas. And it says baking Christmas cheer. And then you get the little mini one and you could definitely um, put these in a little gift basket. I know, right? Um, I found these. I don't know that I have seen these in the past. They are, these are cookie bags. So they come with a bottom but you don't have to use them for just cookies but any type of gifting that you're doing like a teddy bear even would be cool but you have a hard bottom and then your bag at the top and i'm assuming this is a set of two yes and i like it thumbnail so we have that for packaging i'm really into like the packaging thing i found these which are new to me aloe infused socks now, I know they sell these at like Walmart and all the places, but I've not seen them at the Dollar Tree. And they feel, I mean, aloe vera-y. I don't know. I like warm socks. My feet are cold right now. I'm thinking, how am I going to get those tags off? Um, if you haven't seen, the Dollar Tree right now is on point with their Christmas bags. I only have a couple, but I need to wait till I unearth them. Um, for crafting, I've been loving this glitter paper. It's adhesive back. I did not realize that until I bought it. I thought it was just like glitter cardstock, but no, it's actually adhesive backed glitter paper and it doesn't, glitter doesn't go anywhere. So I grabbed it in green and red, duh, for Christmas. But I think I also picked up blue and purple on another haul for another day. Um, and you get three sheets. I, yes, you get three full eight by 10, eight and a half by 11 sheets. So that's nice. It's fun for the crafty, you know, stuff. I did pick up one tissue paper so far. I don't know how much I need, but I liked this one. Um, I need to bring up my gift wrapping stuff from the basement and see what's in the box, but I can always use tissue paper. So I grabbed that because I have a couple gift box type situations. Oh, we do have coffee, please don't worry. Mm, it's cold today. It's not cold, it is dank, wet, yuck. Um, I found a few of the makeup sets. So I thought that was fun to share. This is a highlighter palette. We've all seen them. I think I was probably the last stores to get them. But that's a highlighter, which is always fun. And then I got the Love Kenzie Be Your Own Beautiful palette. I don't want to open them because I'm going to donate them. So I grabbed that one. And then I also found two packs of the um, applicators. Now, these are three-piece oval blending brush sets, and I thought these would be a fun donating item as well with all the makeup, you know, and whatever place I decide to donate this stuff to, the, I want them to put their little gifts together for teenage girls. Because I feel like sometimes the teenagers get forgotten. Um, I also found this, and I'm not sure if I'm gifting it, keeping it, or donating it, but it's Peach Bellini. And the company is Spothicary. And they also had a different flavor scent, but I couldn't find all the scents. So I got the Peach Bellini in the face wipes. And then they have a Peach Bellini hydrating bath salts and bubble bath. And I might be taking myself a bubble bath today. I have a big soaker tub. If you watched my video um, when I showed you this scrubbing thingy for your bathtub, that's my basement bathtub and it is huge. I never use it ever, but I'm gonna start. So bath salts and some bubble bath. 
then then this is hydrating body scrub so this time of year we want to kind of sloth off some of that dead dry skin and then moisturize after and i thought this is a fun set and this would be a great little gift to give somebody and maybe if, you know if it's a small exchange this is enough but put some socks in here maybe a gift card a candle i mean you could build around this i think and i think it's fantastic i love doing little gifty things okay i showed you a sneak peek of these in the last video i don't need to show you all of them right but i found these candles so what these are they are an led candle with timer which is the key why i wanted them so I don't know how they work, to be honest, but it says open the battery cover, insert two AAA batteries, not included. On off switch is located on the bottom of the product with the timer functions, six hours on, 18 hours off. So what I would do is turn them, I would say, okay, what time do I want these all to come on at night? And I would go to all my, I'm going to go to all my windows and turn them on with the timer function. And then they'll stay on for six hours and then they automatically shut off for 18 and then they go back on at the same time every night. Let's see. I don't have any batteries to test them yet. I do need to go buy some, but I want to see. So you have your on off switch, but I don't necessarily know if there's a time. I think it's just a timer. Like you don't have an option. You don't have an option to leave them on all the time. So just keep that in mind. And what I'm going to do in my windows is I'm going to get, I was going to use that I have for my Dollar Tree Canada haul, a little set of Velcro, but I just want to put a little Velcro dot here and then it will sit on my windowsill, but something that will peel off because these are not real heavy and I don't want them not being knocked over. So I'll just do a little bit of that. Or you could use some of the uh, museum putty or museum gel stuff that they have that doesn't uh break the bottom but i thought a little a little velcro and they sell the circle velcros at the dollar tree and then a little velcro on my windowsill it won't hurt my windowsills but i got these and i think i picked up one more because i'm thinking i would like one down here as well because i have one two three four bedroom windows upstairs i have a kitchen down here and i have this one so i may put it in the kitchen who knows um, they brought these out early, late. I'm not sure. The organization, I found one and I thought, oh, I need this because I'm doing, I've been doing some paper crafting and I need, I want to be able to divide up my little ephemeras. I'm not getting crazy with it or I'm at least trying not to. Um, <laughs> I will have a whole video coming out soon on DIY, like paper crafting, Christmas stocking stuffers and office gifts. But this has three little dividers in here. And so I can sort through my ephemera by size or something. Um, oh, yes, makeup. Oh, here's the, here's the Velcro that I got at the Dollar Tree in Canada, I think. Did I get this in Canada? Maybe. Yeah, I think so. I did. Oh. Yes. It's in English and French. I got this in Canada. So I can just cut a tiny little piece and it's self-adhesive on the back and then put it on those candles. Um, I think this might be the it of the beauty. Let's see. Yes. So I found two more little beauty things. I just thought this was super fun. Cinnamon Toast Crunch uh, lip gloss, which I think is fun. Also, I will probably give this to my cousin. But they also had Cinnamon Toast Crunch Hot Chocolate Kits. There was like six packs of hot cocoa and then a pack of... Uh, cinnamon marshmallows or something but I thought that was fun and I know my little niece will like it it's just clear with gold it probably tastes like cinnamon and then I found this cuticle balm uh, my nails have been dry I have on some fake nails like I use press on and they didn't and they did last for the week um, but my hands have been getting dry already so and my nails started that's the other issue is when my nails and hands start getting dry, my uh, my fingernails just pop off. So we're just going to see what this is like. No scent, which is nice. That means no for, oh, it's nice. And you just kind of rub it on your cuticles, right? And then rub it in. 
this would, ooh, this would be nice too. I'm going to do it on all of them because this is where I start peeling. Is right around, it all starts right around my nail. It's already started on my thumb. Um, but that's, this is nice. It's nice. Let's do it. I'm going to do it all the way around. It feels good. I'm sure there's like glycerin and stuff like that. I mean, you don't need a special product. You can just use Aquaphor is fantastic, especially at bedtime. I use a lot of Aquaphor. I have a big tube on my nightstand because like my hands are dry. I can just smear them with Aquaphor, rub it in and then go to sleep. I just smear them. I picked up just two packs of these this year. Um, I like to have these when I'm gifting, if I'm doing gift baskets or something and put little things in here and they kind of make uh, a nice decoration. And I do have several gift baskets planned. So I got one pack and there's two with the, with the tree and then one that just says Merry and Bright. And then I got some little ones, I think, around here somewhere um, that I will use as well. I got, these are going to work with me. I get these, not these specific ones, although I think these are a repeat from last year. But um, we have a coffee station at work and I already have the cups and I um, picked up two of these. I put one, I put them side by side and then when we make our coffee in the Keurig and things spill and get messy, it's not as bad. And then I'll just toss away the ones I have for fall or bring them home and wash them. So that goes to work. Um, oh, I also got this for work. I have a, um, filing cabinet that's pretty good size and I'm going to get, bring in one of my magnet hooks and bring this into work. And it just says it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. And I like that. I love the deer and he is a uh, three dimensional. His antlers are not, but he is. And then you're, I liked it. I thought it was super cute. So I grabbed that to take to the office. I will not throw that across the room. Um, and then I just grab some gift tags because, again, I'm not sure where I'm at with the gift tag situation. So I just grabbed two 60 packs. That will be what more than enough for me this season. And I like these. And they have all kinds of books and stuff out with them. Okay, now let me tell you. The Dollar Tree this year, finally, they brought in... Hi, Alex. They brought in some new... Um, Christmas gift bags. So they've been having the same kind of style for a couple years now, and I am here for it. So first I found this one. Uh, how on trend is this with the big blue bow? I love it. Season's greetings. This side has your golds on it, and then this side does not. Um, and then your baubles down here, or bulbs, bubbles. I'm not sure what they are. But I love that one. So I grabbed that. Um, this one may end up being something besides a gift bag, these next ones. So this is all Nutcracker themed. And if you can tell, this has the metallic on it and this side does not. I love it. I could cut this up and make a notebook out of it. I probably won't, but I could. Oh, I love it. And then I just thought this was beautiful. Look at that tree. In the bottom has the hot pink the side panels just have some dots on them and then on the inside top you get the hot pink i mean just the detail is really for a dollar 25 that is not bad for a gift bag and this is all metallic and glittery on the front and then the back is plain i love it if i decided to make a notebook cover or something out of here i could do the front cover on the sparkly side in the back. But we'll see. So those are just the gift wrapping things I picked up. I didn't really need to terribly much of anything in that world. Um, oops. They came out with the new, the new little boho or vintagey country vibe. But these are, they have the little elf on them, and this is just cardstock. And then they are chipboard and then they had a uh, gingerbread I saw but I just got the one I thought it would be cute I'll put it somewhere who knows where um some more rope you've seen my DIY videos I got this this is the smaller rope the um 11.1 foot 10 millimeter so I grabbed that um for my paper crafting these are like they are supposed to be aesthetic wall collages, but I thought they would be fun for like 
ephemera, decorating, stuff like that. Cards. Ooh. That was my toe. Um, okay, I did get these three. Now, these three are for candy to put in, um, give as gifts. So, I have candy that I brought back from Canada for people, and I will be putting little pieces in these. So, this, the little ones are the candy cane. This one says holiday candy on it. I thought that was appropriate. Oh, there we go. And then the Christmas trees. But you could totally decorate these up and put some beads or glue some glitter or sequins or something and make them fun. But again, get a few packs of these and you can do an advent calendar with them. 12 day or 24, depending on how many you want. Okay. Oh, gift basket stuff I got. <clears throat> so I already bought these in the, <coughs> excuse me, the hand. These are the foot, candy, apple, and vanilla. So this will go in that gift that I've already started with. I have the hand and the foot now, and then this is for me. Because I love doing a hand and a foot mask. So these will go in that gift that I have. And I better put these here so I don't lose track. And then I need to be done with that gift, I think. I've been buy I buy tuna on occasion when I'm in there. Uh, for my craft room, I grabbed a 20-pack of glue sticks. These work fine for me. I don't glue anything with them that requires any extra strength, heavy duty. So, these work just fine in my craft room. Um, I got these. <laughs> I've been... Oh, I only need one of those. I've been using these in my paper crafting. And you'll see when I do the video... But these little gift cards, they're pop-ups, and, like, they're sparkly and fun. Like, look at that gingerbread guy. Um, they're gift tags is what they are, but I've been using them in my paper crafting. And then also for paper crafting, um, for some Christmas gifting, I got some. They're just, they're very, very thin foam snowflakes with glitter. But they're super thin. They're not like the fat foam, which I think will be well. And then for my kitchen, I this is a size plate I eat off of. So I don't mind having these little ones. And I loved this one that said joy. And it will bring me happiness when I have dinner on it. So I got that. Um, if you're in the gifting mood when you're in, they had these at my store. They open up at the top. Like, just the packaging in and of itself is pretty amazing. And then there is, oops, um, a candle. And there's different scented candles. That smells so good. And then there's just a pretty little candle in there. And the packaging, just as a gift, I think is pretty spot on. And then you just put them back together. They do have on the back the dollar twenty five. This is a sticker. Oh, good! So it comes right off. So nobody has to know you got it at the Dollar Tree. Now the brand is it's a Greenbrier, so all of you should be getting these if you haven't already. And I found this in the candle section, and they had a couple of different fragrances. I don't do like vanilla cookie food; it makes me nauseous. So. I didn't get those. I don't get those flavors um, in general. I don't know what it is, but it makes me nauseous. And then I grabbed one of these. This is Coleman, as in like Coleman camping. And it is a uh, burnt up to 50 hour scented citronella candle, white pine. Mm, it smells really good. Obviously, it's for outdoors and it must, I actually got two. And it's overstock or something because it's definitely, ow. Wow, they're heavy. Um, but that's what it looks like inside. And you take them camping, have them burn outside. You know, they keep the mosquitoes away. I don't know why you can't burn them inside. But these are not, these are not Greenbrier. These were not packaged for Dollar Tree. So I will assume there's some type of a overstock. But they're super cute. And they're like the little metal mug. So I got these for next summer when I'm out on my patio. I will burn those. And then the last couple things I got, they've been coming out with some really fun things. These are tablets to clean your Stanley. 
your water bottle. It cleans water bottles, coffee tumblers, beverage containers, thermoses, and more. You get 12, 12 of these, right? So if you're getting somebody a Stanley for Christmas, maybe get them a pack of these. So you, they're individually packaged. You open it up. The directions are funny because at the top it says, fill bottle with warm water, drop in one tablet, let the effervescent, so I think it works like denture tablets, it's magic for 15 to 30 minutes, pour out and rinse thoroughly. For tougher stains, let it sit. And then it says at the bottom, on the picture, 10 to 15 minutes. So 10 to 30 minutes. But this is great if you have any stainless steel cups, if this works, they get, mine all smell like coffee because that's what I drink out of them predominantly. But like Stanley's can get kind of funky. So I thought, ooh, I need that because I have lots of drink cups. And then this is a little it uh, descaling packet for my coffee maker. They have the bottle of the liquid, but I thought this would be good. It's a one-shot deal. So you get two rinse pods and a descaler pouch. So I would run these through my coffee makers, and then I pour this with water into the back of it. And this is one shot at cleaning out and descaling your um, your coffee pots. Any kind of coffee maker, really. It does anything that has a water reservoir in it, you'd want to descale. So you buying somebody a coffee maker for Christmas, somebody wants a Nespresso or a Keurig, get them one of these as well. And that's a good gift. So I'm always a planner. Like I like to pass on a fun thing and then something to help keep it up. Like if I was giving my niece again, a Stanley again, I would get her the straw cleaning, the bristle straw cleaners, and then a pack of these to go with it. But that's me. Okay, that is everything I got this week at the Dollar Tree. You may see this same shirt, maybe not. I don't know how much I have for another haul. I've been shopping a lot, guys. All right, I hope you enjoy and I will talk with you later. Bye, Alex. Bye, Alex. Bye, baby. Oh, who's baby? Oh, you want to see Wellington? I'm trying not to make you throw up. Wellington is over here in the front window. He's sleeping in his little basket. And there's Alex creeping us all out on the back of the couch. Right, baby? All right, guys, I'm tired. It's the end of my work day. I hope you have a good one, and I will talk with you later. Bye.